if it's just me, this is what it feels like to be at home, no job, no money, nothing to do but sit at home. All I do is I clean, eat, pretty much sleep. Sometimes I have kids, not all the time, but I'm always home alone. I'm always home with my boyfriend. I'm always home with my dogs. I never have money to do anything. I need a haircut. Can't get a haircut because I just spent $350 on the dogs because I needed flea protection and cortisone shots and stuff to prevent worm stuff to get rid of their worms. And this is what it's like having epilepsy. Nobody wants to hire you in this cruel world we call society, in this world we call society, and these weirdos. Most fast food places want teeny boppers, like young teenagers not knowing what the fuck they're doing. And most people just want freaking young people. Nobody wants to hire me because they think I'm a real uh, risk factor or liability to their company because I have epilepsy. Nobody wants to, like, try to accept me for me. I'm on YouTube putting my frustration out, talking to all of you about somebody with, somebody with epilepsy. I can't get a haircut, can't go to the movies, can't go to dinner with my boyfriend. Neither one of us have jobs. I don't have a job because I am a reliability act. That is what people have told me. And my previous employer are lying to them and said they will never rehire me and that I'm a bad employer. Don't hire me. So, if you're out there, TWI, if you're watching my channel, anybody from TWI, you are a bunch of fucking bullshit. Bullshit. You're liars. You take advantage of us. And if my SSA ever sees this or even subscribes to my channel, um, just letting you know what you said the other day to me. That would have been like, today is Wednesday. It would have been Monday. Making it, saying that Andy is a bad father. Andy would make a great father. He loves children. I see him around my nieces, I mean my nieces and nephews, my cousin's kids, my friend's kids. He is a wonderful person. So don't ever say that he would make a bad father because you're just trying to start drama. And when you tell me not to bring drama to meetings or your office or when we call you, don't bring drama to me. And you saying that our health is not that important, MRDD thinks that, th that we are all dumb and labeled as retarded. Not one of us with a disability is dumb, retarded, or stupid, or anything like that. We're perfectly fine. We have a disability. We handle it in our own way. Whether we live independently, whether we live in a group home, whether we live at home, we still handle it fine. Our SSAs need to quit labeling us as, like, not knowing what to do, telling us that, that jobs are more important than a checkup or a doctor's appointment. Doctor's appointment is more important than a job interview. You can reschedule a job interview or get another one. Because if you're not healthy, you're not going to have be able to have a good job. And if you can't do the tasks that you are applying for, then you can't have a job. So, if you're if if Holly Maneric is ever listening or watching this, or Lori or Jimmy, any of you guys from TDI or the County Board of DD ever watches this, I'm frustrated. The community's not helping me get a job. It's frustrated. All I do is sit at home, watch some TV, uh, take dogs out, clean the house, um, cook, do laundry. My whole house is pretty much clean. Um, my cousins come over if she needs a babysitter, she'll drop her kids off. But normally, like, I need a haircut. I needed a haircut, like, six months ago. I haven't had time to you know, get one, don't have the money, have other things to buy. I need to get my eyebrows done. Like, they look like giant caterpillars. Can't get my eyebrows waxed. Want to go get, like, a manicure to make me feel a little better and to make me feel like a, a girl. Can't get a mani or a pedicure. Can't buy new clothes. Can't get new bras. Can't get the things I need or want. Like, I need a haircut and I need new bras. But I can't do that because I don't have a job. Because no one will hire me. And YouTube is the only way to get my frustration out and to understand that this isn't all peaches and roses. I get bored sitting at home. It's boring cooking and cleaning and just talking to the same people over and over again and sitting at home all day long. So if you like this vlog, subscribe to my channel. My channel, my channel is Amber Benedum on YouTube. So hit the subscribe button down below. It's the little red subscribe button. Hit the little bell icon because you'll get every notification I get. And please, please give me more subscribers. 
Anybody want to subscribe, just subscribe. And hit that bell icon and the subscribe button.